Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Rule the Waves as the United States Navy. Episode number 51. 51 is a terrible number, by the way, because that means that I officially have run out of thumbnails. <laughs> I'm going to have to go back and plaster some numbers on some more of this uh, American flag icon, which you're probably very familiar with now. Episode, I mean, 51 episodes into the series. So what's going on in this little battle? We have our Terrapin Maximus, the ultimate dreadnought, the ultimate battle cruiser, the ultimate ship that the United States is going to develop. And there, there she is. All four. I really just can't say this enough how much I like the design. The, the triple quads look so much better than the 434 that I went with for the uh, um, democracy class. Although the democracy class has more armor, this is probably just a better ship in a lot of ways, despite the lighter armor. Um, good to know that our port side torpedoes have been destroyed. That is a, you know, an issue with having them mounted. And one thing I was thinking about, um, first of all, a lot of people have pointed out that the top ship, the Oka, here she is, Okinoshima, the Okinoshima actually was halted for a fair amount of time and was very susceptible, vulnerable, whatever, at that point in time to uh, a possible torpedo barrage. I wish I had done that. It might, um, if I had known that there was uh, a third battle cruiser here, I probably would have driven north. The way I was thinking about it, I mean, I didn't, I didn't, I'm not sure at some point I actually even noticed. What? Uh, speed 19, wow, we're really hurt. I'm glad that this is even available. Oh, engine room, no, that did not hit. So the fire only lasted one minute. I remember that. I'm trying to remember a thing. I'm feeling a little better. Thanks for all the comments for people saying, hope you feel better. It's just a cold. I hope it didn't overblow it. <laughs> I mean, it made, I actually lost my voice twice during this week um, while I was gone. But anyway, one thing I wanted to mention, I started to mention is our gun configuration does strongly favor using our forward firing guns. So I need to make sure that I'm doing that. I mean, when we go nose on with somebody, we are bringing more, a higher, oh, this ship is not in good shape. Okay. People were saying, ah, I think you're doing well. You got them. You got them on the ropes. And I was very uh, reluctant to agree with this statement. Hesitant. It does look like we have them on the ropes. So let's do the bold thing and actually unpause. So um, if I go nose on, it narrows my profile. This is modeled in the game, I've been told. And what's more is um, we're bringing more of our guns to bear than the enemy will. Okay, so now let's just wait for our guns to hit. There it is, just like that. Also, let's be a little careful about their um, let's go hit a few more times, and now let's turn. I wanted to hit her first before I turn, just to knock a few of her guns out. We did, in fact, <laughs> exactly knock out one extra gun. So now that she only has two 16-inch guns, she's able to fire, I will pull a little bit away from this destroyer. And I think that's working out well. Even our secondary guns are doing their job nobly. And there's the right, right on cue. My goodness. There is the Okinoshima. And I, I really like the way that I can build this story, that she's coming back to protect the Akagi. The Akagi is down for the count, completely gunless. Every turret on her ship has been destroyed. Every single one. But the Okinoshima, with that honorable Japanese spirit that I imagine these captains possess, is coming back to save her own. So I'm going to really make sure that I'm now firing at the Okinoshima because we're down to 15 knots and this could absolutely be the end of our ship. Uh, no, 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 no. I'm doing none of the right things. Okay, good. So let's switch to the Kinoshima. She, that is now the most important ship. 
And we're going to kind of fade away if we can. Another hit. Okay, we finally return fire and hit. Yeah, that doesn't look good. <clears throat> Turret destroyed. Well, we now have only two turrets remaining. <laughs> two out of three. The cop wouldn't avoid torpedoes. It's good to actually that's quite good to see. We did land a hit. It's this is devastating. 16 inch for 17 inch. We're really going blow for blow. And their blows seem to be landing more often than mine. Yeah, a lot more often. We're gonna go full rear. Get the heck out of here. We're now the only target in the area. Uh, off camera, I forgot to mention this, but off camera, I did slow these guys down and set them on a course for port, for the nearest port. So. Okay, we'll see how this works. Six inch guns are not going to cut it, I have to say. Somehow we fired three of our rear guns at her. I think the Akagi is going to get back to port. It's a shame considering... Ah, oh, man. So the deck did not penetrate. First of all, bad angle. Second of all, our deck arm. Let's get out to range. No better time to do it than now. Actually, our accuracy is improving. Yeah, let's definitely get out to range. Three and a half versus... Four. Okay, it's not that much better. She stopped! Stop. Port side, port side, port side, port side is destroyed. So starboard, starboard side, starboard side. <gasps> Go! Get in there! Close the range! Close the range! What the hell happened? Close the range. It got. To, it's got to take what, like 10, 15 minutes. Ah, she's moving again. No, it's a decoy. Launch torpedoes. Hey, okay, launch. Okay, then retreat. Okay, we're actually doing work. Um, those torpedoes are not going to hit. Sight's an unknown ship. Oh my god. What is this? What is this? Heavy guns? Ah! <laughs> Sorry, I hope that wasn't too loud, but I have a feeling that unknown ship is another battlecruiser. Now, probably time to pull back from the torpedoes. So visibility's down. That's, I guess, part of the what's going on here. All right, let's just run this forward a little bit. Now nah, let's just get out of here. <laughs> well, two but two light cruisers for one battle cruiser. It's not ideal. It really isn't. But we're gonna escape, and we got and the Mars is now battle tested. And uh, it's a victory, but it could have gone better, I would say. Oh, we got her! We got her! We oh wow, we almost sank the third one. Which two? I don't even know which two we got. We did sink the Akagi. Holy cow. <laughs> Holy cow. So, at the very end there, what happened? Huh. Sinking through progressive flooding. 
The last time she fired, that well, the last time we fired at her was 751, and she sank 40 minutes later. Hmm. I wish I knew what her maximum speed was before she started sinking. High speed increases flooding. So she might have, I think she was attached back to the o o Okinoshima. And then she, you know, sped up and tried to move away from port. I don't know. I'm not sure, of course, but. Anyways, let's look. Okay, so the Akagi only has quality 0 16-inch guns. It's good to know. And the Hiei has, what, quality negative 1 13-inch guns? Those, let me tell you, those are not going to get the job done. Actually, frankly, they almost did. <laughs> I, I don't know. I not almost did, but they did. They did some serious damage. Yeah. So the Akagi did not make it back to port. Okinoshima did. Let's see what kind of damage we did to her. So there it is. Critical hit. Man, her electrical power was down for an eternity. Thirty-four minutes. Well, yeah, we absolutely could have sank her. And she was the best of the bunch. She was definitely the best of the bunch. 44,000 versus 39, so 40,000. Yeah, she was 4,000 ton tons heavier, and that looks like pretty much all went to armor. And, and even then some, because there's two extra guns on this one. Goes to show you that there's not... I, I build my ship's glass cannon, so kind of like the Akagi, but it goes to show you there's something to be said about building them with more armor. I also wanted to see, does, did the Okinoshima, whoops, have, okay, they're both quality zero 16 inch guns, which should give me a nice advantage. Okay, well, two battle cruisers is definitely an exchange, a fair exchange. Um, I'm willing to give up two light cruisers for two battle cruisers any day of the week. Okay. Yes. Sure. Oh. Well, that's not great, but fine. And I know that this is all small because anytime you come in from a battle, I wasn't able to adjust the size beforehand. I suspect that Rule the Waves 2 won't have any better of an interface. <laughs> Oh well. Okay, well, let's see. We are only 13 minutes in this video. My voice is barely coming back. Almost starting to go. Let's see what how we how do we look overall. We lost one. We should gain this colony back soon. I imagine that the it should be like just crazy odds against. Um yeah, we really need a port. Improving. Improving. Okay. Yeah, we're, we're missing a little bit of capacity. What I can do is move some of the ships to Southeast Asia. Seems like a good idea. Okay, one of the democracies is going to move. Southeast Asia. And what about my Terrapin Maximus? How are you guys doing? Okay, one of you guys is going to move to Southeast Asia as well. And that seems okay. We have one still working up, but we'll let her work up first. Okay, good. Actually, the Mars, as soon as she gets back, is in good condition, so she's fine. Okay, next turn, I think, hope. Oh, boy. One of these. The C. <laughs> C has... Entered the sea. Wow, 13. Good. I don't know what an enemy mine is doing on the East Coast. How did the Japanese get <laughs> minefield there? 
Uh, yes, I want to accept. Yes. Yes. Oh. Oh, yes. Oh, fantastic. My new favorite ship, the Terrapin Maximus, out again. Good. Excellent. Okay, let's command some people now. Grand Rapids class. What? Oh! The Grand Rapids class. That looks kind of funny. I think I thought I told you guys to get out of, out of here. I thought that these guys were all going to the Caribbean. That whole speech about how oh, they kind of served their purpose. Huh, must have forgot to give them the memo. Well, let's build up a head of steam and get the Grand Rapids out of here. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm trying to lure her back. It seems to be working, by the way. So, battle cruiser, light cruiser, or light cruiser destroyer. Or battle cruiser destroyer. Lots of possibilities here. None of them good for that ship, whatever you are. <laughs> okay, we'll turn in just so we can destroy. Uh, I think it might just be two destroyers. Okay, well, let's keep our distance then. It is. Not much of a cruiser fight, unless that cruiser's still down here somewhere. Let's pursue. Oh, I think we got both of these. Up, oh, up. Oh, that was actually it. That was actually this the whole thing. That's pretty bad. Okay, let's take a look at ship count numbers, invasion, invasion hopes. Yeah, 174 to seven. I think we should very soon invade there. Uh, 93 to 133. We won't be invaded at least. And 91 to 3. Well, that's certainly another place that's potentially could be evaded. Uh, invaded. Northeast Asia? My goodness, how many ships do we have there? We're just over. Okay. So first of all, I want to see... I'm going to sort by location. I hate doing this normally, but I think it's going to be important to see what we have where. Anybody in fair condition? No, I need I need four though. Wow, I only have one Terrapin Maximus. Okay, Grand Rapids class, you are not welcome here. Move to the Caribbean, or maybe the West Coast even. Not, not the South American West Coast. And same thing with the Southeast Asia contingent. Oh, we have no other cruisers there. Okay. West Coast. So we need more cruisers. Bring in the cruisers. So now we'll sort by type. Okay, so we want class, then type. That worked. Okay. The Galvestons are fine wherever they are. Grand Rapids. Probably the Galvestons should all be on the East Coast, but whatever. Get the Grand Rapids to the west coast, I guess. Well, eh, whatever. They're all over the place, but it doesn't matter. This is what really matters, is the good ones. And they're all in Northeast Asia? Okay, let's separate them. 12. 12, okay, well. Let's get the Portland class into... Wait. Portland's better, right? Yeah, you have seven six-inch guns. Oh, you have eight, but that's not that much better. Two and a half, two, two, four. Two and a half, two, two, four. Same. 29, 30. I'm going to move the Portland down just because we have less of them. So 
that'll put some cruisers down there. Destroyers. It's got a few. Well, I like the Cunninghams. We have multiple, right? We do. Oh, heavens no. Move to Southeast Asia. Good. Wait, no, not. Oh, okay, I thought this said East Coast. I misread that. Not through Europe, basically. <laughs> okay, good. You're doing fine. Now, we could put the Invader class on um, Coastal Patrol. People have been mentioning to deal with the Japanese subs. But, look, they're already down to, like, half their original. So I think we can nickel and dime them, and we have 55 Minesweepers, and we can build more Minesweepers. So I'm going to let the Minesweepers do their job. That's their role. Let's let them stick to their role. And really, I think what we got to hope for is the democracies to come in. Um, let's just... Let's shuttle in and out different ships. So right now, one of these is fair. Let's move the fair one back to Southeast Asia and shuttle in the Ohio. Just everyone takes turns until their crews are a little bit wary and then we'll, we'll rotate bodies in and out. <laughs> Such creative names. Whoops. <laughs> Ouch. It's funny, they haven't even increased my unrest level. Bring it on. Bring it on. <clears throat> wow, that's not the exact... Oh, the Mars. It's the Mars back. Okay, so this is not exactly the fight I wanted to have, but all right. Scramble everything. Yeah. This is going to be a fun one. Yeah, I'm actually going to split the Mars off the wrong way to hopefully avoid her getting hit by torpedoes, which will be launched in half a second here. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, my God. I don't know what's going to happen here. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so can we fire torpedoes at anyone? No. Well, you can't, but maybe... Yes. Torpedoes away. I don't know if anybody remembers the really old game, Silent Hunter. Uh, not Silent Hunter. Silent Service. Silent Service 2, I believe, is the one I played. And the ship's in line fire, okay. Well, I don't want to lose another light cruiser. Wait. Oh, it's moving... Okay, well, if it's a Grand Rapids, then get in there, buddy. <laughs> sorry about that, but... <laughs> Terribly sorry, old chup. But now that we know you're not what we thought you were, you're just... You're going to be spraying everywhere. Um, probably enemy lines in, uh, enemy ships in line of fire, but we might as well check. It's true. Okay, uh, let's send you back this way, both back this way. Save the Mars. Dougal, fire at that one. Wait, no. Yes, this one. And let's hold torpedo fire now. Uh, it's a little bit weird. Let's hold torpedo fire because... Wait, by the way, Jet, can you get out? Where the hell are we? There are no friendly ports nearby, so yeah, just head south, I guess. We'll try to sneak you out of here. 
You're not in terrible shape. Yeah, I mean, you have a lot of structural damage, but... And I think two of your three turrets are destroyed. That is correct. Um, but... We'll still get you out if we can. Funnel topples, oh my god. <laughs> Ah, no, Hudson, no, no. It's a little bit dangerous, but whatever. Huh. Lost our target. Did the last barrage hit? I don't even remember. Alright, now let's stop torpedo fire. That's good. Juet, you can do whatever you want. Hudson, you can also do whatever you want. Uh, I don't really know what to do with the Mars. Let's look at the time. It's going to be day eventually. I mean, by day, I mean... Oh, good. So, we're kind of ahead in the torpedo count. Let's remember that before we go too crazy. Just pull up. Pull out. Just go, 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 go. Okay. You guys slow down and cut off to pursue with the Mars. And you two, good luck. Now the Hudson can actually protect the Juet in terms of if destroyers come along, but yeah, anything better, bigger than that, they probably are going to have a problem. And the damage control is working. No! Wow! That torpedo really did a number on the Hudson, huh? <laughs> okay. Now, Juet, since you're all by yourself. Yeah, you look like you're going to make it. Well, nine is fine. Just good luck. Where's the Mars going? Well, she got that radio transmission. She knows what's happening. Go pick up our crew. <coughs> and she wants blood. Oh, I'm, those guys are picking up the crew, by the way. That's what I was simulating. Well, I have no idea where they went. Should be brighter day in a moment. We can try this again. Oh, Eureka! All right, Bull and China shop. Let's go. What's our torpedo count? Full on the bulge. McDougal has only two left. Just gonna use our guns. We'll go down the, all these ships. Revenge! Revenge will be ours. I think it's not an actual destroyer, but... It's, yeah, it's dead. It's definitely not. It was probably a minesweeper as well. Alright, 
Let's stick with the Mars. Think that she's going down, but all right, let's stick with the Mars. Now, has that have you sallied your forces yet? We still have a hundred minutes left. Okay, well, this is probably it. It is. Here we go. Brace for impact. Brace, brace, brace. Heavy guns. There she is. And Mars, you know what? You might want to throw a wrench in their plans. Launch early torpedoes. Uh, that range is... So it looks like high speed is like a third the range of the other ones, but... Yeah, we're... Yeah, so I guess we're just going to let it close. Here, we clobber that DD. There's the ship of choice. And we're exchanging fire. One hit, they landed two heavy hits. Oh, and then we open up... I think these ships are just smashing into each other. Holy cow. So on the one hand, you have the Mars. Patch just, just barely patched up from her last scrap. And then she goes again. <laughs> Five hits with the 17 inchers. I don't know what this is. I suspect a battle cruiser. She's taking a walloping. Now, let's you know, let's be real here. The Mars is not getting away scot free. Oh man, but the oh uh, engine hit down to twenty two knots. But let's pursue. Changes, of course, is also going to be beneficial for avoiding torpedoes. Firing ten, okay. Oh, this is beautiful. We're gonna, we're gonna. This is gonna be crossfire. We're gonna um, pin her in, and then get our destroyers to do the work, finish her off. Honestly, the Mars has already done such a good job. I'm not worried about it, but to have the destroyers available to finish her off like this, it's perfect. Oh, okay, well, now's your chance. Oh, man, McDougal. No, McDougal. Okay, first of all, detach. Uh, I guess we can wait one more round. Oh my gosh. They hit their own ship. They hit their own ship. <laughs> they hit their own ship. <laughs> they hit their own ship. Wow. Okay, I don't know what McDougal's problem is. Forget it. Oh, I think I know. I suddenly, suddenly I think I know. I think that the McDougal only has... Port side torpedoes. Yep. Alright, spin her around, McDougal. Actually, we'll try to get you out of here. The job is done. Oh, yeah, the job is done. Done, 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 done. Okay, so go down here. Five is fine. Whatever speed you can make, really. And the Mars will protect you. Yeah, since she is in great shape. Ah, it's Mikasa, which I think is... Holy cow! This is essentially the same, but with lower by half an inch, at least, uh, deck armor, at least, um, as the Okinoshima. And you know what? Let's... Let's gun for the other ones. Okay, first of all, yeah. Kimoshima. Yeah, this Mikasa is going down. I'm very confident. Yeah, three knots. 
Let's gun for the... There, got her. This is brutal. Mars is hit by a torpedo. She keeps chugging. Keeps on chugging. Oh god, bulge. Don't scare me like that. Oh, that flooding of one could be devastating. Just come to a stop. Try to fix that. Bulge, I need you to deal with this Yunaga. That's the only thing I'm scared of. Dougal's launching torpedoes. I think she's trying to launch them through the land. Okay. I know it's kind of crazy, but try to take out this Yunaga. Yunagi. Oh, boy. We're... Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Um, we stuck around too long. All right, Balsh, this is your lucky day. You gotta be a hero. I know you really wanted to be. Uh, Mars is not doing that bad. Just I hate being at only 19 knots. Okay, well, let's just do it. Prepare to engage. Balch, what do you have? Yeah, you do have a bunch of torpedoes. Well, only five on a given side. It's going to have to be enough. Dual machinery repaired. She has one torpedo. Let's get her out of here. Uh, yeah, I mean, I actually am going to send her south because it was safe there once upon a time. Alright, Mars, this is where you really got to kick it into high gear. No. For the love of God, for the love of God, you have a, a very high priority target. Yes. Damn, they're just ripping through us. Okay, Balch, go in. Do your thing, Balch. Actually, we're starting to land some hits. Oh, it's an Akagi. Another Akagi. If the Mars can do this, we're going to call her the Akagi Killer. Now, Balch, I have a strong feeling is not going to survive this, but... Get out of there, McDougal. Just get out. Launch. It's perfect. Launch again. And spin around and launch again. Spin around, I said. Spin around. Our rear turret, the only thing we can't do is fire a rear turret. Oh! Oh, from love, from downtown. <laughs> Balch, you, you, you crazy SOB. You done it. Another hit. Oh, my hero. Get out of here, Balch. You're a hero. You deserve to live. Okay, so why are we not targeting this ship? I don't really know. Seems like... She's in range of our guns. Oh, we, okay, we are hitting her. With invisible guns, though. Oh, no, they're coming in, they're coming in. All right, just pull back. That was a very inconvenient time for that ship to sink. 
Okay, they could be approaching from these kind of trajectories. She's sinking. Get out of here. Mars, you crazy ship. I can't believe you're going to do it. Oh, oh okay. That, that's We can handle that. In fact, clear the way. <laughs> no, actually, I know this is strange, but yet again, Mars, I need you to focus on other ships. Like these destroyers. Yeah, like those. Okay, good luck. Could get lucky. Up to 13. We'll take at least 10. If you could. <laughs> They're actually shooting at us. Oh, God. No, McDougal. Go out, guns. Guns blazing. You can do it. Take her down, McDougal. Do or die. Yeah, these ships are definitely hunting. I won't let them. Ah, McDougal, no. Report side torpedo. Okay, anyway. Well, we just hit a destroyer with a 17 inch gun. It's probably going to be enough to call that one's day to an early close. And what do you know? 42 minutes. Will the Mars get out alive? Find out next time. She does have some flooding. Um, I wish I could cancel the order that I gave to, you know, target all these ships. Target whichever one you want. All right, well, it's a close one, but we'll have to f see how it finishes next time. Until the next episode, thanks for watching, and take care.